It's like a big problem. Let's call a full body job. <laughs> The son of a bitch trying to get those things on. They're so tight, eh, that they cut off your circulation. But I guess they keep the water out of, you know, the suit, so. If they have to ditch into the frigid ocean, these high-tech survival suits could keep them alive for up to 24 hours. The hood was worse once you put the, the hood on. Uh, the chin strap kind of goes over, and that's bordering on painful. They had to make sure your sleeves were watertight. You had to make sure that it went up around your chin and around your neck and was totally waterproof. Now I'm ready to rock. <laughs> you got a body line right here on your suit? Yeah. You chalk it on your buddy's arm here, right? Kind of thing. I'll keep you together. Arnie, Justin, and the rest of the crew must wear these bulky suits for the entire nine and a half hour trip across the ocean. They'll keep the survival suits dry for now and train in neoprene wetsuits Your place for my smokes? in the pool. No, we're not going to the moon. We're just going swimming. The mood is light. Because once, once the mood is... But the underlying message isn't. We teach people stuff that uh, we hope they never had to use. We were taught how to maneuver, how to do certain positions, how to do the buddy system, how to uh, connect with a number of people. OK, we're ready to rock. Okay, I want you to slam over to the side of the pool. So I'm okay, two arms! Two arms! Then it's into the simulator for a crash landing. Okay. You want to let your crew know we're going to hit the drink. We're going to hit the water. So ditching, ditching, ditching. Prepare to ditch. Ditching, ditching. Uh, brace for impact, boys. We're going down about a minute before we hit the water. You've got to make sure you're your line, which is tethered to the aircraft, is cut. You need a knife, too, eh? Because if the airplane you're in sinks and takes the draft with it, it's, it's going to be completely useless. Get a view of that hose. How do you like the Atlantic? It was a good point. I'll just give him an incentive to uh, put up the canopy. Time is critical when you're in cold water. It made us get the canopy up on the raft a lot quicker. It was really good, actually. I'm glad we did it. Learning how to survive ditching into the ocean is crucial. This is going to real, really suck in the Atlantic. You sure wouldn't want to be out there doing that stuff in 40-foot uh, in swells, that's for sure.